Hello, and welcome back to your English 1109 Library Research Presentation Series. This is part two of your series covering understanding types of sources. One of the most important things to take note of as you are researching is that information is not all created equally. It is important to move past Google and past social media sites to dig a little deeper into your research to find resources that are most credible. In this lesson, you will learn to identify different types of sources, explore the information life cycle, and learn about peer review. So let's get started. In a sea of information, where do you get yours? Information is created by many different kinds of people, but not all information is useful, credible, relevant, or what you need when you are doing research for a class. So let's go through and discover some of the different types of information and what they can offer you. If you're like most people today, you might first get your information from online sources like social media. This is a source of information that changes not just daily, but minute by minute. Let's take a look. We see social media posts from individual people, organizations, schools, businesses, politicians, and more. It can often be narrow in view with usually little analysis. It can be instantaneous, and there's usually not a lot of vetting being done before this type of information is released. While it's a great way to keep in touch with what's happening in the world, you have to be careful about how you use and share this kind of information. Furthermore, social media is not typically used in traditional academic research. This area of information is pretty well conquered. You don't even have to go looking for it. It finds you in your daily news feeds. Let's get in the water and start moving deeper into other types of information. Newspapers are a great place to find information on current events. Some of your instructors may even require you to use them for your final research papers. If this is you, the library has got you covered. CSUB's library subscribes to a number of different newspapers, both locally and nationally, and in print or e-access. So what kind of information is in a newspaper? Newspapers provide up-to-date information on current topics with stories that come out daily, sometimes weekly, and are factual in nature, easy to read, and for everyone. Usually, journalists contribute to newspapers, and the articles tend to be more stating of the facts than analysis. Information may change from day to day as new information is released on a story. Now, let's move on to popular sources. Similar to newspapers, popular sources are written for everyone and can cover a vast array of topics. Many of these popular sources could be for entertainment, keeping you up to date on pop culture and important events occurring in our world. They're easy to read and come out frequently. These sources provide short, intriguing articles, but don't usually fall under the field of scholarly or academic research. Popular sources will have a lot of ads, look flashy and colorful, and they are likely authored by journalists or professional writers. But keep in mind, professional writers are great at telling a story but that doesn't mean they're an expert on the topic that they're writing about. So far, everything has been fairly easy to get to, but have we really gone deep enough or is there better information? The answer is yes, especially when it comes time to start looking for sources for academic research. Scholarly sources are written by knowledgeable experts in different fields of study, and they are considered to be the best type of information for research. Let's explore some of these to see what makes scholarly sources so different from other types of information and find out where you can find them within the CSUB library. Scholarly sources can come in many different formats, the most common being books and journal articles. Books at CSUB are reviewed before purchase by librarians to ensure that they fit in with the scholarly collection that we know our students need. Our books have a high level of analysis and can be a great source of information. We have traditional print books physically available from the library or even ebooks that you can view electronically from anywhere. Journal articles present the most recent research on the topic and are written mainly by experts for experts. One particular type of journal article that you need to know is called a peer reviewed article. Have you heard this term before? You'll want to make note of it because you'll be hearing it a lot from your professors. Let's take a closer look at what's involved in that peer review process and why these articles are considered so credible. Peer reviewed articles are scholarly works from authors who have done extensive research on a specific topic 
and their work has gone through a very rigorous process to ensure its credibility. Unlike popular sources, these peer-reviewed journal articles are written by scholars, scientists, researchers, even your own professors in your classes. Before their work is ever published, though, it goes through that rigorous review where other scholars in the field review it to make sure it's based on solid evidence and not just someone's opinion. Peer-reviewed articles are considered the most authoritative type of information with high levels of analysis, and your instructors will be expecting you to use these to support your own research papers. Scholarly sources are the crown jewel of academic research. You'll be consulting these throughout your college career, so make sure that you know how to identify them. Along with these, you may need to support your research with other types of evidence or information like government documents and reference material. Let's take a look at what those might be. Reference material are types of sources that provide established facts and quick background information on any given topic. At CSUB, databases like CQ Researcher and Opposing Viewpoints and Context would be a great place to start developing a topic. Government documents are information produced by local, state, or federal governments. If you need statistics, this might be where you find them. You can search for background information like this on the library's databases or sometimes even on the open web. If you do choose to Google it, try to limit your searches to .gov or .edu to filter out some of the information overload that can occur with a simple Google search. As you begin your research for a class, remember that not all sources are created equal. Your professors at CSUB are expecting you to go beyond Google and dive deeper than social media when you are researching and writing at the college level. Now let's take a quick look at how you can incorporate these kinds of sources into your research paper. When using resources in your papers, social media and popular sources should be used sparingly. Newspapers might be used to find the latest, most current information surrounding your topic, while scholarly sources should be used as your main source of evidence. Lastly, use reference material or government documents to provide supplementary evidence to your paper. Understanding different types of sources and their uses will help you build solid, well-researched papers and show your professors that you have what it takes to succeed at CSUB. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, contact your assigned librarian for assistance.